belonging to minorities, national, ethnic, religious, and linguistic minorities requires elimination of all forms of discrimination against members of minorities and recognition of their legitimacy without any discrimination. Now, minorities are often disproportionately affected by humanitarian crises, national disasters, and man-made disasters, and they are also affected by social and economic crises. For instance, sir, I should like to mention the human disaster ongoing in my region of Azerbaijan in Iran. Urmia Lake, the second largest saltwater lake in the world, has now shrunk by 95% in addition to the potential damage by sea salt to sustainable agriculture. Salt storms cause a health crisis with a great increase of diseases of the skin, with dryness and allergies of the eyes, and lung cancer and high blood pressure in the provinces of East and West Azerbaijan. The 5% of the lake which still survives and the nearly 8 billion tons of salt exposed to the air leaves scant hope for people living in this area. Given this environmental disaster, it's inevitable that 5 million people will have to leave. Therefore, we will witness a humanitarian disaster affecting those who are most vulnerable, especially women and children. They will have to leave their homes and communities in East and West Azerbaijan, despite the goodwill of the international community and experts who want to save the lives of millions of people in Azerbaijan, Iran. We have seen that for several years, Lake Urmia has become very politicized by the government of Iran. The authorities of Iran have systematically created an obstacle to the use of the budget allocated for the project to save Lake Urmia. And to date, none of the promises of President Rouhani have been kept, although he has made many promises as president. We demand that the state of Iran should stop using the shrinking of Lake Urmia as a tool to exert political pressure, and we demand they assume their responsibilities and take urgent environmental and humanitarian measures which are required. We believe that respect for minorities is a way of preventing or mitigating the impact of the humanitarian crisis. Thank you.